I'm up and ready to go for the day. I reckon my health is back up to about 75%, 80 So um, I think I'll be fine. I feel like I'm good to go. Um, and we don't have a very busy day today anyway, so doing all right. Um, the girls are up and um, are just getting ready. And I need to try and put drops in Mr Jeeves's eyes. Well, with Sarah's help, I think we got some in the eye, but I certainly got more on the sofa. Bye bye, Sarah. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye, fellow followers. Bye. Bye bye, Annabelle. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Guess what? Guess. Go on, guess. I'm not stuck in traffic. <laughs> See? See? You ne just never know, do you? You never know. We're going to do this every day, I think. I think we just need to, uh, you know, we like a bit of suspense in Vicar Vlog. Just to keep you on your toes, you know? Not loads. Just enough to keep you on the edge of your seat. No traffic today. I'm here at St. Catherine's. All right, it's now coming up to lunchtime. I've been rubbish, absolutely rubbish at filming stuff. So, this morning I have been doing largely office work. We had prayer meeting first, obviously. After that we sat down and we went through the Christmas services and I think we've finally nailed out where everything is, what we're going to do, who's doing what. So I need to get that all written up in a rotor. I've then been doing um, some various email correspondence. I've been putting the slides together for open hands tonight. Okay, I've got home, I've had lunch. And now I'm going to go for a run. Um, I'm going to do a short run. I'm only going to run two miles, which is a very short run for me. But I haven't had any exercise for the last five days. Um, and I've really not been well. Um, and I still don't feel 100%. But I still have like 18 miles to do this month if I want to earn my 50 mile in a month medal. And I've got a 10k in a week and a half. So um, I need to get back to exercise, but I don't want to push myself too hard, too quick. So we're just aiming for quick two miles, then back here, and then get on with work again. One mile, two miles. Oh, and uh, it did take out of me, which is really worrying, is after one 10k in a week and a half. Um, I was quite slow, and my right leg, my right knee and ankle hurts. It's only been on two miles. Oh, I'm going to have to do better. I'm just working on the Christmas services and it's looking like we've got 15 different Christmas events of various sorts. But I think it's going to be really manageable because there's a number of us, so I'm quite excited. It's looking all right. Now putting together the service for Sunday, we've got some baptisms on Sunday, which is really exciting. We're baptising a little lad called Lewis and we're baptising an adult called Jess and I'm really looking forward to baptising both of them, it's going to be great, I love baptisms. Sarah's home! Yay! Hello Sarah! Did you have a nice day? Blah! I think we need to get your throat checked. Hello! Annabelle's home! Yay! Hello! <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> Carol and the girls have taken Mr. Jeeves to the vet because he needs to get his eyes seen to again. I am off to Open Hands, our fresh expression of church. If you'll know about it, go see last week's video. Guess what? Guess? I'm stuck in traffic! <laughs> In a good service. We're now just about to have our dinner. So done open hands. It was a really good service. I've had two people come up to me afterwards and ask to get baptised, which is really exciting. I love baptisms, especially when it's adult baptisms and they've chosen to follow Jesus and they want to declare that. It always fills me with excitement. So now we're going to organise a baptism open hands. I'm going to meet them on Wednesday. It's going to be really exciting. Looking forward to that. Um, I'm now just popping to the shop to get some um, stuff that we need at home and then I'm going home. So we're done. So good night. God bless. Cat bonus. We have a cat face off. Nobody panic. It might be okay. <laughs>